you to try to relax. Just close your eyes, sit up straight, and just relax the best you can. What we do is bring researchers from area universities into the museum and they set up their current studies with museum guests as participants. It's titled The Psychophysiology of Self-Regulation. We're trying to examine whether certain wearable technologies can give us an indication of these physiological assessments of what's going on with the body when someone needs to pay attention and have self-regulation. seeing how you can kind of coordinate your body with your brain to try to perform tasks and so we're just getting a better idea of how people can do that. Just the ability to sit still and take in material is a foundational to, to learning. So we think that if we understand the different states and emotional states that are related to that, that we could get people in the right state of mind. It's really cool to get to sort of break down the barrier between research that goes on in a laboratory and bringing it into the real world. What's really exciting is when people participate and they leave saying, I learned something about myself today. We know that attention and self-regulation are really important for things like academic success, general health and well-being in adulthood, um, it predicts criminal behavior in adulthood, so it's really it's an important foundational skill to have.